All right, guys, so I got a Northern Pike here, Esox Lucius, and I just want to show you three quick definitive characteristics for it. We're going to look at the cheek and the opercle here. And I want you to notice how those scales are reflecting. The cheek is always going to be fully scaled on the pike, and the opercle is only going to be partially scaled. You see, notice how there's no scales here, but there's scales on that top part. Then we're going to look on the underside at these... Uh, submandibular pores this side one two three four five and that's normal they vary but on if you've got a muskie it's usually going to have six to ten submandibular pores and we can also count branchiostical rays i got that a bit dirty which are these bones right here right underneath the gills one two three four five like seven the northern pike will normally have between 13 and 16 and the last distinguishing feature as you look at a suborbital line beneath the eye, this little black mark, and it's usually only about halfway down on a pike. Compared to pickerel, where it goes all the way down, and musky don't really have that at all.